Hi everyone, today we are going to be focusing on a heart opening vinyasa flow. So this is going to open up physically your chest, your shoulders, triceps, um, the front of your thighs and hips, and energetically it's going to open up your heart space so you can go throughout the rest of your day feeling open to give and receive love and just really open and connected with other people. All right, so we're going to get started today in a supported hero's pose. So you can take your yoga block. If you don't have one, you can always just sit back on your heels like I'm doing now or sit in a cross-legged seat. So for your supported hero's pose, you're gonna take your feet out wide and place that block between your feet and then sit your hips right on top of that block. So you're getting a nice gentle opening through the quadriceps. When you're ready, you're gonna take your palms face up on your thighs, roll your shoulders up and back and then close down your eyes. And together we'll take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up your lungs all the way. And open mouth, exhale. Let all the breath go. And then seal your lips, start to breathe in and out of your nose, finding your ujjayi pranayama. So resting the tip of your tongue right behind your top teeth on the roof of your mouth. And feeling that constriction in your throat as you breathe in and out of your nose. So just connecting your body to your breath here and becoming really centered. You really want to focus on keeping this breath, always using the breath as your guide. And keeping with that breath, inhale, blink your eyes open. You'll reach your arms up over your head, bring your palms to touch, and then bring your hands behind your head. So interlacing the fingers, elbows wide, really knit your front ribs in, draw your belly in, engage your abs. And then on your inhale, you're gonna take a seated cow pose. So lift your heart towards the sky, lean back into your palms, inhale. And then exhale, seated cat, round your spine, chin to chest, elbows come all the way together. Inhale, open up. And exhale, round and curl. Just doing that a few more times with your breath. Moving slow and allowing each breath to complete itself before you move on to the next one. And inhale, we'll lift you up, reach your palms up towards the sky. And then exhale, twist to the right. So take that left hand on your outer right thigh. That right palm can come to your sacrum or you can tent the fingertips on the ground. Gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale to lengthen your spine. And then exhale to twist a little bit deeper. Two more breaths. Inhale to come back to center. Reach up, grow tall through the sides of the body. And then exhale, twist to the other side. Right palm outside the left thigh. Left palm on your sacrum or on the ground. Three breaths here. Every exhale, hugging the belly in, tightening the core, twisting a little bit further. Inhale, reach on up. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra. So we're going to make our way to a tabletop position. You can take that block to the top of your mat. Okay, so take those palms right underneath your shoulders. Spread your fingers really wide and then step your feet back. Come to a high plank position. So really firm up the legs, heels are lifted high, upper body strong, abs are engaged. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips high. And take a few breaths here, you can pedal out your feet. Continuing to spread the fingers nice and wide, pressing down through your knuckles. When you're ready, settling in, so rolling those shoulders outwards so those triceps point back, biceps are forward, and then lifting up out of the shoulders, lengthening the side bodies. Back is nice and straight, bending the knees more if you need to. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. 
And bring your feet a little bit closer together. Reach your right leg towards the sky. So three-legged down dog, flex the right toes towards the ground. And then you're gonna bend the right knee as much as you can. Start to stack your right hip over your left, okay? Equally rooted through both hands. When you're ready, just draw some big circles with the knee. Roll out the ankle. You might hear some snap crackles or pops, which is great. And you're gonna pause, open that hip, point the knee up, breathe in. Exhale, bring that knee towards you. Now shift forward, round your spine like that cat pose, and then step your foot slowly between your hands. Okay, from there you're gonna tap your back knee down. Take your left palm inside of your right foot. That back foot's untapped and that right knee stacked right over the ankle. On an inhale, reach your right arm towards the sky. Take a twist. Okay, back of the neck is long and free of wrinkles, really twisting through the mid back. You can stay here or rotate that right thumb back and take a half bind right around the lower back. Okay, still keeping that chin tucked slightly so your neck is long. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Reach your right arm high if you're bound, inhale. And then exhale, frame your foot. Okay, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, gaze forward. And we'll find our way to the top of the mat, feet hips width distance apart. Just a little rag doll here, interlacing the hands behind the nape of your neck. Just applying really gentle pressure, getting that traction through the cervical vertebrae. And just swaying side to side, opening up the hips. Belly's resting on the thighs, so you're getting that release in your lower back. When you're ready, release the hands down. Inhale, roll up really slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. And then cactus your arms, take a little back bend here, lift up through your chest and really press the hips forward as you squeeze the elbows down your back. Inhale, reach up. Dive forward with a nice flat back, fingertips come all the way to the ground. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, fingertips to shins flat in your back. And then plant your palms, step back, high plank. Okay, pause here for a moment. We're gonna take our first chaturanga. So again, you can always tap the knees down or keep them lifted. If you feel the lower back dropping, just bring the knees to the ground and modify. We'll take a breath in to shift the shoulders slightly in front of the wrists and then elbows hug in low or halfway and then all the way to the ground. So we'll take one baby cobra, untucking the toes, press the toenails into the ground. Inhale, lift up. Hover your hands, squeeze your elbows back, keep those toenails down, breathe in. And then exhale, release. Inhale, press up to your tabletop and then downward facing dog. Settling back in. Five breaths here, really lengthening again, feeling those intercostal muscles between your ribs opening up. Inhale your left leg high, flexing the toes towards the ground, then bend the knee, stack the hips, open it up, and then circles with the knee. If you can hear me, I'm cracking. <laughs> When you're ready, just settle and point the knee up. Draw your navel in. Feel the hip flexors open. Take a breath in. Tiger pose, knee to nose round the spine, and then slowly step your foot between your hands. So really gently trying to get that heel down first. All right, when you're ready, back knee down, right palm inside of the left foot. You can always use a block under that hand too if it feels a little far from the ground. On an inhale, reach your left arm towards the sky. Twist open. And then again, you can stay here, find that half mind. Left arm behind your back. Slight tilt down of the chin, just breathing and twisting with your exhales. Inhale, left arm high. And then exhale to frame your foot. Tuck your back toes under, gaze forward, breathe in. Forward fold, Uttanasana. When big toes come to touch this time, take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And we'll find Utkatasana chair pose. So sit your hips low, weights in the heels, sweep your arms forward and up. Okay, we'll take a breath and sit low. Feel your outer glutes turn on. Weights back in the heels, bellies in. Breathe in. And then sit low, airplane your arms. Keep that chest above the hips. Maybe the fingertips brush the ground. Inhale, reach forward and up. One time, airplane, take it back. This time, interlace the hands behind your lower back. Bring the heels of the palms together. We're gonna to play with sparrow pose here. So looking forward, 
Lifting your heels nice and high, bringing those hips in line with your knees, lowering the chest. Take a breath in. On your exhale, release your heels. Keep those knees really bent. Fold over your thighs and let it all hang. Those hands might stay close to your back, okay? Keep a little bend in the elbows, but then let them fall away. Okay, maybe they don't go as far as mine do. Maybe they're right at your lower back. But just getting that shoulder opening. Inhale, lift your chest. Bring your hands to your lower back. And then exhale, fold. Step back. High plank. Okay, inhale, shift forward. Chaturanga. This time, upward facing dog. So lift your heart. Thighs are lifted. You're pressing the ground away, shining your heart bone forward. Widen your collarbones. Breathe it. And then use your abs to roll over your toes and lift your hips high. Let's take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Tap your knees to the ground. Okay, we're gonna walk the hands forward. Coming to puppy pose. Now hips stay over the knees. Walk the hands forward. You're either gonna tap the chin, the chest, or the forehead down. If you're new to this pose, I really recommend just trying to bring the forehead down, really walking the fingertips forward, feeling the side bodies lengthen. Maybe rock your head side to side. And just taking a few breaths here. You can bring the palms together to touch, take the thumbs behind the head, and walk the elbows forward a little bit more if you want. A little bit more of a stretch. When you're ready, reach the arms back out. You're going to lift your head, look forward, and then slide to your belly, coming to a sphinx pose. Okay, so you're going to stack those elbows right underneath the shoulders. And we're going to get into the back of the heart space a little bit. So remember, we have two sides to each part of our body. It's not just the front side. We often forget that. So we're gonna start by taking the left hand, okay? You're gonna take it across your body. So if left fingertips point towards the right side of your mat, then cross that right arm in front of the left. From there, you're gonna wiggle your hips. You can take your block out in front of you on the lowest or the medium height. And when you're ready, you're gonna walk the hands out to the sides and then lower your forehead down. Okay, from there, closing your eyes, you're welcome to flip the palms up and you're really just breathing into the back of the shoulders. Letting that head hang. Maybe the forehead even comes to the ground if you're really open. Okay, and from there, you're going to slowly start to come back up. Okay, turn the arms forward. And we're just going to switch sides. So right arm across the body, left arm in front of the right. Wiggle those fingers out to the side. So your arms are crossed right underneath your chest. And then slowly lower it down. Slowly begin to take those arms out from under you. You're gonna come back to your Sphinx Pose. Okay, really draw the belly in wide in your collarbone, shine your heart forward. You wanna be pressing down with your forearms and then pulling your chest through your arms so you feel the upper belly stretching. And we're gonna take it into a supine twist. So first, going into a floor frog, you're gonna take your right leg out to the side. Okay, I'm gonna show you my left side so you can see it. You're gonna flex the foot, okay? When you're ready, you're going to take that left arm underneath your right arm and thread it through. You're going to reach that right arm up towards the sky. Take a breath in. And then exhale, open up all the way for your twist. So bring that right shoulder down. That knee can lift. And then your left hand can come to the outer right thigh just to deepen that twist. If it's too much, you can take your block and just slide it underneath that thigh, giving yourself some support. 
Okay, and then just closing the eyes. Still breathing, but letting it become a little bit lighter, a little bit more relaxed. Opening up the lower spine, the chest, the hips. And blinking your eyes open, you'll reach that left arm back out. If you have a block, just move it out of the way. We're slowly going to roll back to the, be to the belly. And we're going to take it to the other side. So this time, left leg out to the side. Take that right arm across your mat, thread it underneath. Come to the right shoulder and cheek. And then reach your left arm up. Take a breath in. And then exhale, twist all the way open. And just trying to match the variation that you took on the other side. And then closing your eyes. Feeling the heartbeat slowing down. When you're ready, this time we're going to roll onto the back. Okay, so you might end up off your mat. You'll just shimmy yourself back over. Okay, and then last little bit of heart opening right here. We're going to take it to our bridge pose. So fingertips reach down towards the heels. Maybe they touch them. If not, it's okay. Just make sure those toes are pointing straight forward and the knees are hips with distance apart. On an inhale, you're going to lift your hips up towards the sky, engaging the belly lifting up through the hip bones and then interlacing the hands underneath your lower back shimmy the shoulder blades together and then breathe lifting up through the hips keeping those inner thighs turning up take one more breath in Release your hands, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Hug your knees into your chest, give them a little squeeze, maybe rock side to side. We'll find a happy baby, last pose before our Shavasana. So elbows inside of the thighs. You'll capture the outer edges of your feet, okay? For your sacrum, so that low, low back lifts up. Just grab a little bit closer to the knees, maybe even grab behind the thighs, okay? Guide those knees out towards your shoulders. You feel that inner outer thigh stretch and just rock side to side, massaging your lower back. Maybe straighten one leg out and then the other. And then guide your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins, chin to chest, forehead to your knees. Send yourself some love for showing up onto your mat today. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let the legs go long down your mat. Palms facing up, guiding your shoulders under your shoulder blades a little bit. Feeling your heart opening up towards the sky, feeling your heartbeat. And resting in your Shavasana. Letting everything go except that feeling of the heart beating in your chest. Please feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. And when you're ready, slowly just waking up and coming out of it. Thank you so much for joining me today for this heart opening flow. Please feel free to check me out on Instagram at Kelly Marie Collins or head to my website, kellycollinswellness.com. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.